Here is a book that will help you sell your art, your music and people, Creative and Considerate Fame by Derek Sievers. I don't know why I never told you about this book before, but I'm going to do it today. And I'm going to tell you who this book is for, what it is for, and the lessons that I learned by reading your music and people. I'm also going to share a few of my stories. Um, the back cover of the book says, a philosophy, it's the perfect sentence to summarize the content and the purpose of this book. A philosophy of getting your work to the world by being creative, considerate, resourceful, and connected. Who is the book for? The book is for musicians, especially. It's especially, it was, it was written especially for musicians because Derek Sivers is a former musician. And it's a book that will help, that helps musician, musicians sell their art, sell their music. But the content, the stories, the tips, the lessons from your music and people can be applied to anything you're selling. You, know, you don't need to be a musician a musician to find value in your music and people because really it may be you may be a writer or a service provider a business owner you may be selling uh, products and services or whatever there is there is value in this book because it's a book about marketing it's a book about marketing now here is the first lesson the first lesson I learned. Marketing is about being creative. And here is a quote. Think of the way you create and release music. You have a tiny idea for a song. You flesh it out into a full song. You give it layers of instruments. You chose its texture when recording. You come up with an album title and the visual look of your photos and videos. Every step so far has been a creative expansion of your original idea. So now it's time to put it out there into the world. Do you turn off all that creativity? Just upload the song to the, to the usual places and announce it like everyone else? No, your creative process hasn't stopped. Flaunt your artistic freedoms and have some fun with it. The way you communicate with the world, how you make your music available, the stories you tell about your music and yourself. These are all the continuation of your creation. Marketing is the final extension of your art. Now, marketing is about being creative and it's about finding a way to put out there, uh, to put your work out there into the world. And I have a little story about how I marketed my, my tiny book. I wrote a book called Any Language You Want. And to promote it, because you want to sell your art, you know, if you write a book, if you um, make a song, if you um, write, uh, if, you may, if you have a painting, that you, whatever creation that you have, you want that creation to be useful to others and you want others to see it, right? And you want to sell it. You want to make money, of course. Now, I know that I said don't do it for the money in, in previous videos, but what I mean by that is that you, if the only driver of your, so if you're only motivated to make art by money, well, I don't, I don't think that's, uh, I don't think that's a good idea. I think the, the, the purpose of making art, of making services is to help other people in exchange of money, right? So the focus should be creating value and your art can create value, of course. So, Going back to my book, I had to be creative in marketing my book. And I remember, like, I sold, so far I've sold, uh, I think, 417, 220 copies 
in over one year. It's not a lot, but I sold 135 copies just by going on a podcast, on a famous podcast um, among lear learners of English, because my book is about learning languages and I'm an English teacher. So I contacted this person and I said, I want to be on your podcast. Can I be on your podcast? You know, there's some uh, creativity also in finding collaborations. And um, he said yes. I was on his podcast. And that month, I sold 135 copies just by being on that podcast. So marketing is about being creative. And this is the first lesson. The second lesson is... Marketing is about being considerate. And here is the story from Derek. Don't confuse the word marketing with advertising, announcing, spamming, or giving away branded crap. Really, marketing just means being considerate. Marketing means making it easier for people to notice you relate to you, remember you, and tell their friends about you. Marketing means listening for what people need and creating something surprisingly tailored for them. Marketing means getting to know people, making a deeper connection, and keeping in touch. I know that some of us hate the word selling, sell, making money, marketing, but we need to reframe that mindset because if you see selling as something dishonest, uh, if you see it as, <clears throat> as stealing money from other people, because probably you've been victim, a victim of that, that's, that's not useful. That won't help us sell you our art. Our art deserves to be paid for, deserves to be valued, if it provides value. So being considerate in your marketing means helping people. Marketing is about helping people, helping people find your work and get benefits, like uh, get an advantage, get benefits. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this is the right expression, to, uh, to benefit yeah, to benefit from, uh, from your work. I have a newsletter, and here is my story. I have a newsletter. It's called Better Writers. And the promise I make is that I want to help you become a better writer. So every week, I don't know exactly when, towards the end of the week normally, I will send you an email. This email will be short. And it will be about helping, helping you become a better writer. This is my promise. Now, imagine if... Oh, I also say, if I launch something, if I create a service, a program, a writing program, or if I have uh, something paid that you need to pay for, I will say that. I will tell you, you will be the first person to know. I will not say that on YouTube first. I will not, I will not say that on my blog. I will say that this in my newsletter. Now, imagine if every you sign up to my newsletter and then every day you receive an email saying, join my program, buy my book, here is my uh, course. Like, has this ever happened to you? It has. It has to me many times. I sign up and I get bombarded with sales emails. This is not about being considerate. This is, this is spamming. It's what Derek says. Uh, let me see, what did he say? Uh, it's, it's about advertising, spamming, being annoying. You don't want to be, be annoying. So this is how I approach my marketing. I say, this is what I want to help you with. 
if I sell something, I will tell you. But it's not just about selling you stuff. Because no one wants to be sold to all the time. Right? It's an art. Also, this is an art. Marketing is an art. Selling is an art. And uh, we need to get good at that if we want to make money from our work. So this is the second le The second, let me see, I've got a few notes there. Yes, second lesson. The third one is being about being resourceful. I love this word, the word being resourceful, this expression. You need to be resourceful. And Derek tells a story. There's a beautiful story in the book about being resourceful in your marketing. And here is the story. I was at a musician's gathering in Memphis. I met a lot of people complaining that their various forms of online distribution weren't earning them as much as they'd hoped. Then I met a musician who sold 8,000 copies of his album himself. No distributor, no website, just by himself. I asked him how he did it. He said, I just slowly drove around the city every night with the windows down, playing my music loud. When I saw someone digging it, I'd go talk with them. I'd sell almost everyone a copy, about 20 or 30 a night. Been doing this about a year, sold 8,000 so far. I love this story, it's so direct. It hit me especially hard because all the musicians I'd met before him were complaining about how it's impossible to make money anymore. It got me thinking about what it means to be resourceful. It means being creative, rebellious, determined, and unstoppable. I love the word also, I love this word, rebellious. Like, there is so much marketing advice out there and people tend to follow their advice, but you don't have to do what everyone else is doing. You don't have to open a TikTok account if you don't want to. Um, you don't have to do anything that you don't want to. You don't even need to have social media. We need to do, I think, what we think we could provide value best yeah i think this is the right word order so what's the best way you can provide value what's the best way in your opinion you could market yourself do that be rebellious it doesn't matter if you if the marketing guru says that you need to have a social media account you don't even need to have social media you don't need you don't need to do anything really so be rebellious um of course also this is an art so there are no fixed, uh, you know, th there is something that works, there is something that doesn't work. Like my friend Lara, my friend Lara, um, created a course, an English course for intermediate learn for beginners, learners of English. She worked in her room for one year. She put the course out there and the course became extremely successful. Now, this goes against all the mainstream advice that tell you that tells you that uh, you know don't create anything just because you've got an idea I, I've heard this many times just because you have this idea, you need to test the ideas first, otherwise, how can you know if you know if the market will respond well to your uh, to your work, to what you're selling. Lara didn't do that. Lara had an intuition. She thought, I've seen a gap in the market. This course doesn't exist. No one has created anything like, like this, like the thing that I want to create. She put her, um, her, he she put her head down and she worked on the course. She sold it, extremely, extremely successful. I think that's a way to be rebellious. It's a way to be rebellious, I believe. Um, right. I'm thinking about myself. Like, what story can I tell you about me being resourceful or rebellious? Well, I'm a freelancer, so I work 100% as a freelancer. 
if I'm not resourceful, I will not find work. I will not eat. I will not make money. And being resourceful in my case means sending emails to potential clients. It means getting getting myself visible. So um, making myself visible. This is why I make content as well. It's a way for me to show who I am, what I think, what I believe in, and sending emails to potential collaborators, finding collaborations. This is like if you're a freelancer, you, you must do this. You need to create, uh, you need to find a way to be creative in your self-promotion. There's nothing wrong with self-promotion. Rebellious. Am I rebellious? Uh, the way I could say I'm rebellious by not doing what I feel it's not good for me. Like, for example, I've told you about this before, making short form videos. That's not for me. I don't really, I don't enjoy doing that. I think short form videos are actually ruining, ru ruining our minds. Because it's all, you know, it all has to be quick and snappy and TikTok. I don't have TikTok. And I don't think, like, I don't think it's what can help us become better humans because TikTok has got that thing, you know, we all know. So I don't want to contribute to that. So I feel, you know, in a way, this may be my way to be rebellious. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Now, the fourth lesson, let me look at my notes, resourceful, connected. Marketing is about being connected. So here is Derek's quote. The difference between success and failure can be as simple as keeping in touch. So being connected, being connected to the people in your industry, to your fans, being connected to the people you seek to serve. How can you sell your art, your work, if you're not connected to these people? I know that before I told you about Lara, Lara was there in her room, kind of disconnected to the rest of the world, but the, her strategy worked. Fantastic. But I'm more for connecting, connecting with as many people as possible. This is why I have, I have a big network. I also try to connect with you here on YouTube in my writing by making content. Making content is a way to connect with you. Otherwise, how can we, how can we uh, you know, get to know each other? How can I help you if I don't connect with you? And I won't lie to you. Making content is also a way to sell my art. Because if I have a writing program or a tiny, a tiny thing, uh, a course, and I want to sell that course, well, I've made content so people know me. People, you know me. You know what I believe in. You know my philosophy, you know my writing, you know my style. You know if I could be a suitable person to help you because I made content, right? I build, it's a way to build trust. And this is helpful to sell my art. My art, I mean my courses, for example, my writing courses. That's helpful because you know, you know the, the person who sells the thing. So you don't have to do this. It's not that you have to be on social media. You don't have to do anything. I told you before, you don't need to do anything that you don't feel like doing. To me, this is my way. I enjoy it. I enjoy making videos. I enjoy writing. And uh, it's a, my way to connect with the people I seek to serve. To connect with you. So if I have a course, 
and I say, look, I made this course. You know who I am now. You've, you've been watching my videos. You know that uh, I may be someone who can help you. Here is the course. And uh, th this is the price. You pay me. I help you because I'm not a volunteer, right? There are so many taboos that we have, um, we may have, about uh, making money. And actually, there's a, there's a quote, now that I'm thinking about it, uh, there's a quote here by Derek, Shed your money taboos. Money is nothing more than a neutral exchange of value. If people give you money, it's proof that you're giving them something valuable in return. So, this book is, is really good. This book is really good. It's re I will never get tired of Derek's writing style. I interviewed Derek, uh, I interviewed Derek um, here on YouTube. We talked about succinct writing. Um, and th look at the chapters. Look at the chapters. Tiny little chapters. This is the classic book that people complain about when they say, ah, this is not a book, it's a collection of blog posts. Okay, that's, that's okay. But I, no, that's not okay, actually. But I, I love the tiny chapters. I'm writing a book now called um, Tiny Book Author. It's a book to help you publish your tiny book. And uh, it's the same style. It's the same style. I want to I use the same style. Tiny little chapters, one idea per chapter that, uh, that is succinct to the point and the, it, it includes a story because it's full of story, f uh, full of stories, this, this book here. I highly recommend it. You don't have to buy it. Derek made an animated um, series on YouTube, so every chapter he narrates every he reads every chapter for you, and there's an animation that goes with it. The link is below, so you can watch it on YouTube. You can listen to it for free. But of course, he's a writer, and I highly recommend buying his book. Also, because if you buy it on his website, don't buy it on Amazon. Buy it on his website. I will put the link below because the money will go to charity and uh, you will get you will get this it's amazing okay I hope this was useful if you disagree with anything let me know if you think this was valuable or if you have any opinions that um, you want to share I'm always happy to hear from you put them in the comments and uh, that's it thank you I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you will buy this book and sell your art because your art deserves deserves that. It deserves to be valued and recognized even financially. Yeah. Bye-bye. See you next time. Thanks for listening. Thank you for watching. If you're a writer and you want to improve your writing or you want to keep improving your writing, consider joining my private email list, Better Writers. I send one short email every week. I share tips, insights, things that I learn, book recommendations to help you do one thing only, become a better writer. The link is in the show notes or in the description of this video. Thank you for listening once again. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.